Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kova here. Welcome back to more transfer news. As always, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see my videos should pop up on your YouTube straight away to go and watch if you want to. So, without further ado, let's get into it. We're starting off with Testegan. What a great young goalkeeper this guy is, first of all. Um, obviously impressed highly, you know, with Bruce Mönchengladbach. Then went to Barcelona and obviously only plays as the, like the cup keeper. And does extremely well, obviously, you know, in the Champions League, he was great and stuff like that. And Manchester City are interested in getting him for 20 million as he, they may see, you know, Joe Hart leave and get this guy instead. Which, to be honest, wouldn't be too much of a bad thing for Manchester City because, obviously, Ter Stegen is so good. But I wouldn't really want to lose Joe Hart. He's really passionate and, obviously, he's English, so that really helps your club. Um, but Ter Stegen wouldn't be a bad replacement at the same time either. And next up, this is like the main story. This is the Manchester United clear out that we're going with. Now, there's up to eight players who are apparently leaving Manchester United. I believe I've got them in order, so these will come up straight away. So, Rojo is one of them. They should get a decent amount for him. Obviously, uh, he had an okay season, but he's highly rated because obviously he's like an Argentina centre-back. Then there's also Tyler Blackers, who's obviously came through the academy, so it'll be straight profit on him, but... He should just leave anyway. I think he's on loan at Celtic. I don't know whether that was permanent deal or not. He may have already left. Varea, who I thought was done okay when he was uh, playing for right back for Manchester United. I thought he was only had that one bad game against Liverpool. And apart from that, he was pretty solid. So that's quite a surprising one. But again, a promised right back. They might get money for him. Next up is Schneiderlin. He is another one that is apparently allowed to leave. And this is obviously to finance the Paul Pogba move. Obviously, that's going to be about 100 million, maybe more, depending on how what much the final fee is. But obviously, they need money to finance that. They don't really want to just, like, you know, take that from the bank and put it into a, a one man player. Um, so Schneiderlin may move, but I'd, I'd rather have, I'd rather, like, them see have, you know, Schneiderlin and Pogba together to make a class centre midfield. Another one who may go Schweinsteiger, more likely because obviously he's about 32. Um, he's, he hasn't got much life left in him, let's be honest. And I think they paid about 10 million for him. You know, to get a few million would be a, a good bit of business to get rid of him now before obviously he gets worse and worse and loses more and more pace. Next up is one matter. Now, this one's been like, you know, links everywhere. Everton are strong favourites to get him, but the. The amount that's required to get him has now been like made available, and that is twenty million is what Manchester United are looking for to uh, to get for Mata. Now I think I don't know if Mata's worth twenty million. He's a bit of a you know on and off player. One game he'd be really good, the next few would be really bad. He's not world class for me, but I think you know a team like Everton, Southampton, Stoke, he would obviously improve a hell of a lot if they can you know splash that cash and get Juan Mata in. Next up is Felipe Anderson. This one's kind of came out of nowhere because he was linked heavily with Manchester United all January and all the start of the summer. But now it's actually Chelsea. Obviously, again, we mentioned the fact that Conte managed in the Serie A, so he knows a lot of the players there. So that means they're going to get linked with a lot of players there. It's just whether or not you know these rumours are actually going to come true or not. Um, I don't think Chelsea really need another attacking midfielder unless they just want different options. That's the only thing. Next up is Isaac Hayden. I just want to include this one because obviously like Newcastle are going through a bit of a transition. They are changing a lot of the squad. And Isaac Hayden is one that they're meant to be going for. They see him as obviously one for the future. Trying to grab him from Arsenal. He had a loan spell at, New at Hull even and wasn't even you know playing that much. But uh, Newcastle see something in him. They're looking to try and get him on the cheap from Arsenal. Next up is Enna Valencia. We mentioned this that like, he was meant to be going to Lazio. West Ham have actually turned down a £10 million move from Lazio. They must be looking out to get more, or they either don't want Valencia to go. I'm not sure which one it is. They're probably trying to get more money. You know, West Ham at the moment are being really frugal. They want a huge amount of money for their players, but then want you know, the like star players like Payet for really cheap. You know, it's working so far, but there's going to be a time when you know clubs can be like, <laughs> whatever, you can keep them and have a huge wage bill. Next up is a big one for Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough are going crazy in this transfer market. And apparently it's Negredo this time on loan. Uh, Middlesbrough even are looking for a you know top class striker to try and like fire them 
into a safe position, basically, in the Premiership. Obviously, they've got Valdez for in goal. I think they've signed a centre-back or two. They've got links with Van Persie as well. So, you know, Negredo, I think, would do really well. I, th I thought he was actually really good for Manchester City. He's a bit unlucky, the fact that, obviously, at Manchester City, you're always going to be behind Aguero. And then, obviously, at the time, Manchester City also had Dzeko and Jovetic. So, Negredo kind of got pushed away, which I think was a bit harsh. I think he is a really good player and it would be a fantastic signer for Middlesbrough if they could get him on loan. Next up was William Carvalho. He would have featured in the first team in this little transfer video, but obviously I want to try and get all of Manchester United players that may leave in it. Now, Carvalho is getting linked with Everton, less than Southampton. Obviously, he's just helped Portugal win the Euros, which means that his price is, you know, no doubt going to go up. You know, but if you picked him up before the Euros, I think it would have been a hell of a lot cheaper. He didn't really have the best of seasons. Um... Mind you, Sporting actually won the uh, the league, so it wasn't too bad in the terms of that. Uh, but, you know, in terms of like whether he's going to move, it's been linked for a long, long time that he will be leaving Sporting, and it never has. So I don't know what is happening. I don't know if his agent pushes it like too much or they request too much money, but uh, it looks like Carvalho may go this time. And now Everton, less than Southampton are interested in him. Next up is Hojberg. Now... Southampton are going to be signing him for 12.8 million. That's a apparent agreed fee, which means, you know, give it one or two years and Liverpool will sign him for 32. I don't know. But uh, this is a, pretty much a confirmed deal anyway, and that is Hojberg going to Southampton from Bayern Munich. Next up is Ben Teke. Obviously, uh, he's getting linked to West Ham and Crystal Palace. But apparently he's agreed personal terms with Crystal Palace. It's just a matter of the two clubs trying to agree a deal to sell him on. Oh, let's get one. And next up is Perez. He is getting linked to obviously Manchester City. We've mentioned it a few times. There's badges on there. And it'll apparently cost Manchester City to get him £17 million from Torino to uh, to complete that deal. And finally, we end up on the, uh, the strange one. And that is Colin Doyle going to Bradford City from Blackpool. Now, the reason why this one's in here, I don't usually include, you know, the lower leagues. But this one's a strange one because he is going for £1. Like, literally, Bradford City can walk into, like, the Blackpool chairman's room and just flick a pound at them and be like, Doyle's ours now. That is insane how he's got a £1 uh, release clause. Obviously, that must be in something to do with how when he signed. He obviously wants to, you know, get some football, but obviously leave Blackpool at the same time if he could. And obviously, that's now happening. He, uh, he's agreed a deal. He is going for £1 to Bradford City. And here's what the team will look like. Obviously, a hell of a lot of Manu players because of the clear out that they're having. But Stegen, I would love to see in the Prem. I think he's a really good goalkeeper. Uh, not so good on FIFA, but in terms of real life, he is fantastic. And obviously, we've got the bench. Carvalho, Hoshberg coming in. Benteke, big move. Bruno Perez, that would be great for your squads. But guys, if you did enjoy, all I ask is let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. I will be amazed and I shall basically see you in the next one.